Hi, I'm a field applications engineer with LDRA, and today I'm going to be talking about the LDRA productivity package for functional safety, and more specifically, how we can use this productivity package to help us streamline our compliance process with the IEC 61508 standard. Looking at the requirements for IEC 61508 can often be confusing, but we can boil down the requirements for this standard into five main categories and then organize them by SIL level. First up is static analysis, which for SIL levels 1 and 2 is optional but highly recommended. For SIL level 3, it will be required for any critical components of your code, and for SIL level 4, it will be mandatory for your entire code base. The next category is code coverage, which for SIL levels 1 and 2 is only requiring statement coverage. For SIL level 3, statement and branch decision coverage are required. For SIL level 4, statement coverage, branch decision coverage, and modified condition decision coverage, or MCDC, are all required at 100% coverage. The next category is regression testing, also known as unit testing. For SIL levels 1 and 2, you'll only be required to have functionality tests to make sure your code is working as intended. For SIL level 3, they'll require a comprehensive test of all the branches of your code. And for SIL level 4, we'll need to have very specific MCDC and edge case testing to make sure that we're testing all edge cases within our code base. For your testing environment, for SIL levels 1 and 2, you can test on a simulator or on an embedded target. For SIL levels 3 and 4, however, you'll be limited to only testing on an embedded target if you want to be compliant with IEC 61508. This is because IEC 61508 requires that you test on a final production hardware that your code base is going to end up on. The final category is for documentation and traceability, and this is required for all SIL levels. You must have documentation for all of the categories listed above for static analysis, code coverage, regression testing, and testing environment. And for traceability, this is also required for all SIL levels. You must have traceability from your requirements all the way down to your source code. Luckily for us, the LDRA Productivity Package for Functional Safety has a comprehensive set of tools set to meet these requirements at any SIL level for IEC 61508. And having these solutions all under one set of tools helps to first internally standardize your documentation, which in turn will streamline your time to compliance. It'll also save you and your company money by keeping you from having to buy five different tools to do five different jobs. So let's take a quick look at a demonstration on how these tools work and how they can help you get compliant with IEC 61508. The LDRA Productivity Package for Functional Safety has over 30 different coding standards for static analysis and over a thousand different rules to customize those coding standards from. From MISRA C to CWE to CERT C, I'm sure you'll find something that you like, and if you don't, you can always create your own custom coding standard to better suit your needs. Once you've selected a coding standard, we can run ourselves a static analysis and take a look at the code review here. This will show us all of the different violations that we've accumulated in our source code. If I'd like to take a look at the location of any of these violations, I'll simply double click on one and it will open up in our source viewer at the exact line where the violation occurs. If I'd like to exclude any of these violations, I can do so by simply right-clicking, going to Violation Exclusions, and excluding the individual violation, or all in the function, all in the file, or all in the system. This will then exclude my violations, which I can bring back by clicking Show Violations Excluded. If I'd like to run some dynamic analysis and gain some code coverage, I can do so by simply clicking this button here. In this demonstration, I'll be testing on my host using the MinGW compiler, but you can use this on any embedded TLP that you decide. That would be a target license package to suit your specific embedded board. With our dynamic analysis complete, I can then right click and open my code coverage to take a look at how much code coverage I got off of my previous run. Here we can see I have code coverages for statement, branch, and modified condition decision coverage reported here for my code base. We can also see that I actually have coverage for statement 
and branch, but I actually did not gain any MCDC coverage when it comes to this run of dynamic analysis. This is why doing things like unit testing is very important, as gaining modified condition decision coverage through dynamic analysis alone is notoriously difficult. So from here, I can try to open up this code coverage and this set in TB Run, which is our unit testing software. And to do so, I'll simply right click on my set and hit Start TB Run interactively. With TB Run now open, I can create a sequence. And now we can see that we've obtained all of the same code coverage from our work that we've already done in TB Vision. The next thing you'll likely want to do in TB Run is to run a few test cases. So I've imported a set of four test cases with their inputs and expected outputs all inputted here, and this will be testing the function add product right here. These four test cases should get us to 100% statement and branch decision coverage. If I just run that right here, And with our four test cases now passed, we can see that we have a combined coverage run of 100% statement and 100% branch decision coverage. In order to get compliance with IEC 61508, we'll need to do this with all the functions in all of our files. And with TB Run, this makes it much easier. The last thing you may want to do with your project is to take a look at some of the automatically generated reports that we've created for you along the way. To do this, we'll want to open TB Reports. You can open TB reports from TB Run, TB Vision, or from the LDRA launcher. And if we take a look at some of the reports that are available to us, the first one that comes up is Code Review. This will be for all of our static analysis reports. The next one to look at would be a Code Coverage report, which will get us all of the information on the various different types of code coverage that we've attained through our testing. We also have reports for unit and module testing, as well as the various different standards, including standard-specific reports for IEC 61508 at the various different SIL levels. And finally, in my opinion, the most useful report that we have for IEC 61508, especially at the higher SIL levels, would be our MCDC Test Case Planner, which will help you to determine where and how many MCDC test cases you will need. Thanks for watching my short presentation on the LDRA productivity package for functional safety. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at LDRA.com. And don't forget to subscribe to see more great videos like this one. Thanks, and have a nice day.